Do we run now? Oh yeah, we scoured the internet to find you the best content for this week's episode of Super Happy Internet Fun Time. Now can I have that chocolate milk I was talking about? And what is up everybody? We are back for another episode of Super Happy Internet Fun Time, otherwise known as The Shit, because we're shitty people. And on tonight's episode, we have another guest, a special guest. All of our guests are actually special. His name is OG Noshi. OG, if you want to tell the people who you are, what you do, and where you're from. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is OG Noshi. I'm here from Chicago. Uh, I'm a Let's Play uh, Let's player who plays um, all, all sorts of games. Uh, I'm also a dancer and a musician. So if you guys want to check out my channel, i got a lot of cool stuff for there. So, yeah. And you can just check out the channel right in the right on the screen. We put it there for everybody to click on. Yay! Click that button. <laughs> and with me is my player two, Lunchbox. Hi. There it is. There's there's my hi. All right. So if you guys haven't tuned into the show before, I thank you for your first time. But during this part of the show, we do talk about stuff that uh, people don't really talk about. And this is our first segment of the show. And the topic of that segment is Pet Peeves Part 2. I love Pet Peeves. Everybody, actually, my Pet Peeves is Pet Peeves. Um, so, again, everybody has them. I have multiple. I'm a... I'm a hate-filled person, and people annoy the shit out of me. So, but that's that's enough about me. We're gonna go to our guest, Mister OG. Uh, what oh, is? <laughs> All right. So I've been making this list for a little while now. So I would say, all right, I'll, let's start this off. One of my pet peeves is um, I don't know about you guys, but when you play online, and you we always have that one friend who decides to eat on their mic. Like, oh, dude, dude, yeah. So I just can't stand it. Like, my friend finds the crunchiest, <laughs> most supple apple he can find, and he just sits there contemplating life and he eats it. And I always comment, like, you always have to find it. Like, and the the weirdest the weirdest thing is when you when you listen to it for long enough, you start wondering about your own insanity. It's like, is this gonna change? <laughs> is this is this gonna stop at any one point? <laughs> And then you have the audacity to ask him, hey, could you mute your mic? And then you feel like a dick for telling him to basically shut up. And then it doesn't happen. And he keeps going and going. <laughs> so, Lunchbox, why are you laughing? Uh, because I know you're you're ready to chime in. I know I know that that's like, you know what? When when he says he feels like a dick um, for telling his friends to mute their mic, you, you actually have no, no such... Uh, you know, no restraint. such uh, restraint. Exactly. Yeah, you you're just like, hey, shut your hole. So, <laughs> so lunchbox is absolutely correct. We have uh, I have I have two guys I play with on the regular that uh do this to me, and it is fucking uh irritating. So perfect. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. But this guy will sit there and chew on fucking ice. Not even like food. It's just ice, or like suck on it, or go straight ice. It's like, dude, are you a fucking horse? Knock it off. <laughs> and then one guy, so it'll be late at night, and he'll grab a bag of fucking chips and just start... <laughs> and he's like, oh, sorry, was that loud? Yeah, dude, yeah. that's fucking loud. I'm fucking tired of hearing it, you dick. Yeah, it's gotten to the point where, like, I even if it's one chip for me, like, I know it, if, since it annoys me so much, if it's one, like, little chip, anything, like, I just mute my mic. Or if I'm talking to someone, mute my mic. Even if I want to hear, look at a, the quietest YouTube video ever, just mute my mic. Just, no, I don't. I don't let people hear other things that's going on around me. Like, <laughs> but yeah, like you can hear like every detail with the new mics too. It's like you can hear them digesting it. Shit, you can even hear them wipe their ass eight hours later. <laughs> like, so, uh, so I, I I just got an idea, and I think this is gonna be brilliant. Um, we should do a video of trying to guess what other people are eating over the mic you know I, one of my buddies um his name's uh bullet he uh <laughs> he was actually eating over the mic but like it wasn't so much as annoying it was more like comical this way he was eating but me and my friend Wesky, we uh we actually caught him on what he's 
Like the exact chip brand and everything that he was eating. <laughs> I'm not going to go and advertise the chip brand, but his his mind was completely blown. He's like, wait, how do you, what, what company? <laughs> and we, we guessed it and he was just ballistic. Like he couldn't nice. understand. You can understand how just from the audio that we can understand this. But like, little did he know that I actually knew he like that was one of his favorite chips. So I've known this guy for like years now. Nice, that's yeah. awesome. So, so what other pet peeves you got? You said you had a list going. Um, well, another one is uh, when people click their gum. Like, like they they have to blow bubbles into it, and then like. They have to pop it within their own mouth, but like they do it in a way that it echoes throughout the eternity of sound and time. <laughs> so, so, so you're you're a mouthy kind of guy, I can tell. Uh, somewhat. I mean, if I mean it's it's not so much as like, oh, if somebody shakes my hand after like, well, I'm not like that OCD about stuff. Like it won't be like, it's more like sounds. I would say more than mouth <laughs> mouth things. I don't know. Yeah, dude, I I fully agree. Um, I do that. I, I, I pop my gum, which is irritates the shit out of my wife. Uh, oh man! But I don't I don't chew gum very often. So, so what about you, Lunchbox? I know I know we covered some of your pet peeves, and you forgot about one because you were just so angry with drivers. What what is that one? Um, Did you remember it? No, but I I, I have a couple more. Um, internet tough guys. Like I know we live we live in a in a digital world and. Between uh, Reddit, Imgur, uh, Tumblr, Twitter, uh, Facebook, whatever, it's just there's so many people that hide behind the anonymity of their keyboards and they think they're the toughest, baddest Billy Brown around. And uh, it just gets so, uh, so irritating. Yeah, because you just want to, you would love to meet these people in person. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I fully agree, dude. It's when I, I love it when it becomes like the e thug, like, oh man, if I were, if you were here right now, I'd beat you up. Oh uh, yeah, they they go into vivid detail about exactly what they would do with their carcass and whatnot. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's uh, like, like no, I you... think it'd be more intimidating. It's like to be, on this subject, I know it's kind of going off, but I think it'd be more intimidating if somebody was doing a Steve Irwin impression, like. I'm going to find you like the alligator. <laughs> but I was the worst Steve Steve Irwin impression, but it's like he eats his prey and you know, all that. Like like if somebody was telling me that over voice, I would I would kind of be like, okay, dude, you win just for making me laugh about it. But, all right, you are kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Mike, I fully agree with you, and uh, I I want to add something to it, and, and let me know what you think here. Not just like on the internet forum boards where you're behind like a keyboard. But like when you're playing uh, Halo or Call of Duty or something online that's, you know, the minute sense of competitiveness and you just get that fucking 13 year old that is like the most racist, bigotedest son of a bitch you've ever met. And you're just like, dude, I want to fucking choke you through the mic because you're such a dickhead and you're 13. Yeah, it's like why why are you even playing this game right now? It's, there's an M rating on that. But yeah, that's a, that's another pet peeve. When I mean, it's not it's not so much little kids. It's it's the fact that they think they're so tough just because they're playing uh, an M rated game. <laughs> but you can even expand that to the dumbass parents who buy it for them. Like, okay, oh, yeah. oh yeah. So stores have you know put in the policy that you have to have an adult somebody who has a valid you know id over 18 and yet your dumbass parents are like is this game uh violent and you're they have grand theft auto 5 in their hand it says it right there in the back like blood gore intense violence <laughs> they still have the audacity to come up and be like mm, um, yeah. what should i expect from this game <laughs> Yeah, dude, there are just some dumb people. So I have a buddy who who's a manager at GameStop, and oh, he just man. he just has those stories galore about these fucking stupid parents that you know just just don't get it. Like, do a little bit of research, understand what you're doing, you know. And anyways, that's my PSA of the day. If you're a parent, fucking <laughs> fucking research what you're doing. We, we haven't done a PSA in a while, lunchbox. What the hell? We're slipping. Yeah, we are. There's a lot of uneducated people out there now, and it's partially our fault. Well, I feel like it's, you know, our goal or our mission to educate America. You have to educate the tough guys. 
You have to tell them to stop using their keyboards as shields and their fingers as swords. You must rally them. We must words. unite them. <laughs> words hurt. <laughs> words do hurt people. Cyberbullying is a real thing. Oh, yeah. It does. But... I mean, everyone's been to that point, at least in one... I mean, in the modern age, at least... It's kind of sad to say that at least one out of every three people are going to, like, go go through that somewhat. Like, even in the slightest way. Like, you can yeah. be you can be even, like, a lot older and somebody's probably going to just take advantage of somebody online or use that fact that they can hide behind a screen just to say something. What do they call that when you, uh, like, is it catfishing when you're, like, scamming some old lady out of her money? I think catfishing is the relationship one. That's when, like, you get into this relationship with only photos, no voice or anything like that, and then ends up being a dude on the other side. <laughs> I'm going to do that, by the way. You're going to do that. You're going to catfish someone. I'm going to catfish my or lunchbox. Oh. I was going to say, I thought that's how this, I thought that's how we were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> lunchbox, I'm actually a 30-year-old woman. You're, you're not a chick? Uh oh, confessions on the shit. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we move into segment two, my pet peeve. It's it, it's a weird one, kind of like uh, Corinna Bob's from last last time. But it, it, when you have a toothpaste thing, okay, your little toothpaste uh, bottle, one of those tubes, and you don't go from the fucking bottom. When you squeeze the top, and there's that big air gap, that drives me nuts. Hands down dumbest pet peeve i've ever heard of but it drives me nuts wait a second the, from the top of it so there's that air bubble yeah so if somebody just takes it from like where the fucking toothpaste comes out and squeezes it right you leave oh it. i don't know I'm, i've always been used to rolling it from the bottom exactly you gotta roll it from the bottom otherwise <laughs> i want to punch you in the face wow that's just I mean, that's worse than just taking the whole tube and just squeezing it like Hulk smash. Hulk must get <laughs> dental care. Oh. <laughs> my my wife actually does that, and it fucking drives me nuts. And I go, just do it from the bottom. I hope she doesn't watch the show, man. I mean, just... <laughs> that's that's kind of something that I was thinking about. Uh, a lot of my pet peeves have to do with my wife, and uh, I don't want to air our grievances out on the show, but, you know fucking clean up after yourself like coffee oh the coffee grounds she she has this thing where she says you know oh i'm not a morning person and that's why i leave coffee stains everywhere and leave my sugar packets out and yeah it's like no you're you're you're, you're an adult <laughs> you're an adult you can... lunchbox wife clean your shit up that's me saying it you got it and it filled that lunchbox with cleaning supplies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is going to take us into our second segment, which is called Truth or Troll. And this is where the Brain Trust of America, OG, you said you're Chicago, right? Yep. So the Brain Trust of America come together and we, you know, go through one of the dumbest posts we've ever heard and try and tell whether it's somebody trolling or somebody truthfully that dumb. Huh. All right, so this one is from Remy P of Yahoo Answers. And I'm going to do a little silence here because it's perfect. All right, 60 seconds and one minute aren't really the same? Question mark. This is a bit of a random question, but the answer has been bugging me for a long time. Okay, so on a microwave, if you push 60, then it will cook for 60 seconds or one minute. Are you following me? And if you also press one minute, it will cook for one minute or 60 seconds, right? Okay, well, my question is, if you add one minute plus one minute, it is two minutes, right? So your food will cook for a total of two minutes. But if you add 60 seconds plus 60 seconds, it will only cook for a minute and 20 seconds, even though 60 seconds is one minute. I know, confusing question. I guess to put it in simplest terms, how come one minute plus one minute equals two minutes? But 60 seconds plus 60 seconds equals 1 minute and 20 seconds. If I'm wrong about this, I gotta I gotta rethink my life. Like, I'll, I'll literally walk out the door for like 2 seconds and come back in. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are you thinking, OG? You thinking this person is truthfully that dumb that they don't uh, get it. 1 minute is 60 seconds. 
You know, between truth or troll, hmm. I mean, it, so it seems like troll bait to me, so I would say troll. Ah, okay. All right, Lunchbox, I know it's kind of a long one. What are you thinking? Um, I know it's troll because uh, I saw the same post uh, literally uh, a month or two ago, and uh, yeah, it's it's stupid. No way. No way. You don't think it's real? No, it's it's troll. It's oh. and to be honest with you, when I saw it a, a a while back, it was actually posed in a better form that sounded like the person was actually believing that they uh, they were they couldn't figure out the time thing. But yeah, it's this is somebody being a troll because they saw something on Reddit and they think it's funny. So I, I'm gonna agree with you, even without you know the the Reddit thing, knowing that. Because you say that sixty minutes is equal, or sixty seconds is equal to a minute. You say that, so if you don't understand that, you are dumb. Yeah. And and you're truly trolling. So, so lunchbox and I have been doing this for you know this is episode thirteen, and I would say we're a bit of a professional at determining this. <laughs> thirteen episodes, nice. <laughs> and, and this is for sure a fucking re idiot troll. So, I think general consensus is troll. So, all right, that will push us into our third. This is the best segment, in my opinion. This is the Would You Rather. Oh, and God. and <laughs> these come from a website called rather.com. And they're under the not safe for work gross questions. And it is gross. <laughs> oh. I love it, though. All right, so this first question, this one, you you got to answer this first, OG. You you can't, you can't not answer. All right. And it, it's got to be you can you can devise any kind of background story you want. Okay. But you need to justify your answer, okay? Okay. So, would you rather wear someone else's dirty underwear or use someone else's toothbrush? Oh man. You're killing me here, man. Uh, you know, <laughs> shoot. Okay. Do I know the person? Uh, you device your own backstory, man. If well, I mean, obviously, if I'm in his house, then I know the person. Okay. It might be a, oh, it might be a girl. I mean, we, we didn't, we didn't go upon, upon a gender. So, I mean, it wouldn't make a difference, really. But, um, hmm. Use somebody else. Yeah, I would use, I would use um, somebody else's toothbrush. Because I, I don't know. Honestly, honestly, only because I feel like it would be cleaner than. It, I don't know if that person soiled somebody. Their it's dirty underwear. It's for sure dirty, and I had to wear it dirty. So, well, but, I mean, you're putting you're putting essentially something that's hygienically clean once you put toothpaste on it and put, <laughs> rinsed. Hopefully, I mean, if it was a dirty toothbrush, then uh, it just still be a weird weird question <laughs> all right so so you're saying toothbrush what about you lunchbox gotta go toothbrush i would rather have somebody's mouth germs uh than you know herpes or crabs you know yeah so let uh, me let me run this one by a lunchbox what if you flip the underwear inside out and then turn it around oh man it's still gonna say no <laughs> because uh. It's I don't know, man. It's just one of those. It's still sweaty <laughs> balls, dude. Or why would you want to wear another dude's underwear? You could ch pick a chick's. Okay, because <laughs> women's underwear is real comfortable, and I'm assuming that <laughs> I'm assuming that experience your lunchbox. Well, <laughs> and, and I'm assuming that if it's like a thong or something, yeah, those never get sweaty because they're not just crammed in the tightest spots available. I, I don't know, man. You just <laughs> toothbrush you, for the win <laughs> oh. you, could, you could go granny panties why Why the dead silence granny panties are <laughs> where it's at dude, oh, dude I don't know. I'm starting to question our friendship <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be weird and go underwear well what about you Billy I'm gonna go underwear because dude mouth germs to me oh god 
Because what if it's like somebody with like fucking meth mouth or, you know. Well, I mean. Somewhere in between like a normal clean mouth and then meth mouth. I- anywhere in between is just. Uh, 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 uh. E- either one of these answers are kind of messed up, so. <laughs> but I'm going to say if I go underwear, they're going inside out and backwards. Why would I go backwards though? Because then you get like your. If you butt have it inside out, then it's backwards. Then you have possible skid marks on the other side of where your genital region is. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, I would assume that anybody that uh, wears underwear in today's age doesn't have skid marks. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that assumption because. But we, since you made the meth mouse assumption about that we're gonna make the holy crap this guy just went through the shit storm of shitzilla and survived oh well and... shit then yeah toothbrush <laughs> like well then i gotta ask a question do i get a look at them before i choose like do i have one in each hand going oh god oh god do i get to like do a smell test maybe oh, I say I'm gonna smell it. So if I if it if it smells rank, I'm gonna to go toothbrush. If it smells like it's well, clean, you were blindfolded and you were forced to smell that. Oh, uh. <laughs> gets a little too close to your nose. Oh god! Oh, smell god. for a week. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I, just, I just threw up. But <laughs> all right, so I think I think the situation would uh, would vary but we'll say toothbrush and then so out of eight eighty eight thousand six hundred votes 77 percent went went with toothbrush well done guys Woo. and that brings us to the end of the show i want to say thank you again og for uh kind of being here with us hanging out hey, and thank, talking thank some you so stupid much for shit. having me man oh yeah no problem um as be sure to check out og's channel uh he's got some good shit on there and then i do want to say something we're, we are missing Jim tonight, so if anybody in the Pacific Northwest sees a red-headed midget walking around, <laughs> that's him. Find him and alert the authorities. I'm totally kidding. All right, guys. Uh, again, thanks again, and everybody, stay classy.